So, is that fractured metal right there? Is that where you're, is that where you're drawing it on there? What is that? It's just where something broke. Right. Oh, that's the lead. Right. So we can just we can just do filler on this, right? Um. Yeah, it has to be metal to metal because anything else will react. Yeah. So what's the side? It's not bad though. Well, I just ground it all off. Yeah, but I mean, why can't why can't you just? The, the, I mean, the, the metal's solid. You don't need to replace it, right? So it's just. Uh, no, no. I, I can uh, put something over it. That's what I'm trying to find out now. Some some more information on that. But that's. But it's, it doesn't need to be metal replacement, right? No. Thank God, because you got a heck of a lot of work into this already. Yeah. Part of the thing, guys, is. Um, this is Sandra's uh, car, and as this guy's working it, he's still discovering small spots of rust that he has to deal with as he goes. And I'm always very careful about it because I don't want to keep hitting Sandra for more and more money while we do this car. It's been a heavy investment of metal work done on this car. So the good news about having Sky doing this work, even though he's our Iron Man sweeper, um, is that, you know, back off so you can see the car we have, Bobby. Um, go over there. That means that means go over there. Don't don't bother with things, Bobby. Uh, don't worry, we'll have our own camera crew eventually. Um, the, the important thing is, is that Sky, within his professionalist ways, buys these things. He's fixing them, like you saw on that metal piece on the nose, which neither one of us still know the name. Would you guys please tell us? <laughs> He's fixing those welds. I have to be very cautious on how I build these things because I don't like to give new surprises to clients. Although there's always gonna be new surprises, this is a 50 year old car, we're perfectionists, and for a client that demands perfection, it takes time. Um, so he makes these, these discoveries, we find them, and we deal with them. Um, oftentimes, they don't even get caught on video. And does it hurt me financially? Yeah, it hurts me financially because it takes more and more time. But as we get more and more efficient as we go forward, you're gonna see what needs to be done and how it gets done. We are doing these to showcase, at the price we're doing them, to showcase our quality. Our prices are gonna keep going up as long as we keep doing this because we really are, this is gonna sound arrogant, doing, I think, I think we're like, I think we're one of the best shops in the world for the quality of work we do. Boom, I said it, okay? For all, all you, all you, all you. Joe, what are you laughing about? Oh, you land on something else? Your timing was horrible on my video. Um, stop laughing. Stop having such a good time. Get to work! That was humor. You're supposed to be laughing now. Now you're supposed to laugh. We're going to keep doing <laughs> I'm just trying not to laugh behind the camera. We do think we're hilarious at times because we're real. But we, gosh darn it. I've said it before, like I said it again. We're gonna stay in this business or out of this business, honest, doing the best darn job we can. And if we can't do it honest, and we can't do it as great as we wanna do it, then screw it, we don't wanna do it anymore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We really mean that. It's hard. It's hard, it's not easy. Running the shop is not easy. Um, and again, I'll say it again. You know, Sky, you know, and uh, Bobby, they're my long timers. We're the three amigos, and uh, we're gonna make it no matter what we're doing.